So it looks like Intel may not be done with upping their core counts of their mainstream processors. A rumor coming from the Far East seems to indicate that Intel is planning to put more cores in their mainstream desktop lineup with their new family that is allegedly going to be called Comet Lake. The rumor comes straight from Taiwanese forums where it is mentioned that a 10 core CPU under the Comet Lake S family was mentioned during a partner meeting. The family will still be based on the 14 nanometer process node and was recently listed on an updated DT slash IOTG roadmap. The roadmap updates every quarter, but we haven't seen such a roadmap in public yet. There are no other details mentioned except for mentioning that the CPU may use a dual ring bus interconnect. Now a single ring bus can def definitely handle 10 cores, as we've seen it happen in the past with Broadwell E. This would be an interesting change if Intel does go with a dual ring design considering their core to core latency has been on point for a while on the mainstream side compared to their competitors who rely on more aggressively on interconnects due to cores allocating to dual dies hence slightly affecting the latency speeds. The other thing is that a single die 10 core design would be much harder job to cool down, especially when Intel's current 8 core and 16 thread parts generate so much heat. Since the process isn't shrinking down anytime soon, the core architecture being the same, the package will have to stuff more components, which will output, well, a lot more heat than the current 8 core part. Now one route Intel could go is tweaking the frequencies. The Core i9-9900K is the fastest clocked 8 core 16 thread chip designed to date, but for a 10 core part, Intel can tone down the all core frequency to a more feasible limit. One thing that is for sure is you'll need a really good AIO or a custom loop liquid cooling solution to cool this 10 core chip. In terms of pricing, we can definitely see the CPU falling above the $500 US range since the 9900K sells for, well, that much already on retail. If 14 nanometer supply doesn't return to a normal state by the time the 10 core part launches, we can expect pricing of around 550 to 600 plus US dollars. As for the performance numbers, well, we can expect the 10 core part to destroy every previous entrant by Intel in the mainstream department with relative ease in multi-core benchmarks, of course. Of course, we can't judge final performance figures based on rumor data, and especially considering that we don't know that if it's either going to be a single ring bus or a dual ring design, but we'll guess we'll be one chip to look out for in 2019 especially when it will be possibly competing with a 7 nanometer Zen 2 based mainstream CPU with potentially higher core count. So love to hear your thoughts on that. Intel bringing 10 cores to the mainstream? Does that mean AMD is probably bringing well more than 8 to the mainstream? Hmm, perhaps a doubling. Maybe we'll see 16 Zen 2 cores on the Ryzen 7 3700X or 9X, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but a 10 core part on the Intel mainstream, man, that's not something you probably would have thought about a year ago. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next video.